Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the start of a new reading vlog. It is Monday, the first week of October and I'm very excited for all the spooky reading that I'm going to be doing. I have two weeks off teaching for the school holidays, the break between each term, so I'm going to try and use most of that time to catch up on some reading. But let's talk about the books that I'm currently reading. I am physically reading Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. This is a book that I actually have read before. I read it in 2020 and I gave it three stars then but I think I'm gonna love it a lot more now. I don't know I just I always think about this book and I just I feel like I'm gonna love it so much more so I'm rereading it. I am on page 44 so not very far into it at all but I am annotating as I go and it's really cool to see the foreshadowing at the beginning of the book because I do know what happens. So yeah I'm loving rereading this. Hopefully it won't take me too long because it's only 300 pages so hopefully it won't take me too long and I should be able to finish it this week. And the other book that I would like to start today is Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I actually have the audiobook for this which I am going to read so I can have a physical book and an audiobook on the go. But yeah this is another not very long one either. It's 307 pages so again not a very long book but it has a ton of illustrations throughout. I am very excited to find out they mean. They are gorgeous and I think it'll make the reading experience a lot quicker too because there's less words. Also the cover is just gorgeous. I've heard kind of mixed things about this but I also know so many people love it. So I'm gonna go in not expecting much but just a fun time and I think it will be good. From what I know no, it's a story about a girl who gets invited to this estate that her uncle owns but when she arrives her uncle is dead so she's trying to find out her family secrets, her family history. This estate that she's at is haunted by ghouls so it just sounds spooky and I just am really excited to read it. So yes those are the reading plans for the day. I don't know what I'm going to read after those two but we'll just go with the flow see how I do. I'm so excited to actually get some reading done because school is just really drained me over the last term so I'm excited for the break and I am looking forward to reading all these spooky books this month. Let me know what you're reading in the comments. I would love to chat about the books that you are planning to read. But yeah I'm going to make a, another coffee because I am really needing it. I'm starting to get a bit of a headache and then I'm going to start reading. I'm probably going to carry on with Catherine House. Hello everyone, it is now Wednesday and I've just gotten into town, I've got a few things to do but one of those things is book shopping. I want to try and find Babel or Babel, however you say it, by RF Kuang. I don't have anything else in mind because I don't want to get just that book but I'll see what else I've got and might pick up another couple things. I'm spending a couple days in town with my boyfriend so I've bought some books with me and I'm gonna go and buy some books.
Hello everyone. So it's been a couple days. It's actually the weekend now, but I have a lot of reading updates. I think the last clip you saw was me book shopping and I only got two books. So I'll show you what I got. The first one that I got was Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez. I think that's how you say it. But I saw this a lot when it first came out all over Instagram, but I haven't heard too much about it since. But it was very cheap. It was uh, $10 on special. So I did pick it up. The cover is so beautiful. And from what I know it is a YA fantasy following a revenge plot. Her main character is avenging her family who had everything taken from them and I also think there's a hint of romance in here but it's very Spanish inspired I think. So I am very excited to read this one and it makes me want to pick it up even more because of the gorgeous cover. So but that's the first book that I got and the other book that I got was you know it's the only reason I went into the bookshop and that was to get Babel, Babel by RF Kuang. The Foiling is literally beautiful in the middle of the book it is gorgeous but everyone is talking about this and it sounds incredible it is a dark academia set in oxford university and i'm just dying to read it i haven't read anything else from this author but i know the poppy war trilogy is very popular so if i like this and i'm definitely going to be diving into that trilogy but everyone is loving this so much so i had to pick it up and i'm very excited to read another dark academia it just sounds so good so i'm very happy to finally have this so those are the two books that i got while i went book shopping but as for reading updates i've actually read quite a bit since i last introduced the vlog so i was reading gallant by v.e schwab and i've actually since finished this book i was debating between a three or a four star rating but i ended up giving it four stars yeah i really enjoyed this one it has v.e schwab's beautiful writing like if you've read any of her other books you know what her writing is like this book has so much of that amazing writing in it it's just definitely a v.e schwab book so i adored the writing and the atmosphere was beautiful with all the ghouls and the mission it was a really cool atmosphere and the family secrets and the mystery are all really well done in this book however I do think the ending was way too rushed it ended in like 10 pages and I wish we had at least 50 more or so to actually slow down the ending a bit because it was over so quickly and also at times it did read a bit young and I know it's YA but the main character just read a bit young sometimes it almost felt like middle grade at times so it is I think on the younger side of YA but it's still a really solid story and I did really enjoy it but yeah not my favorite B.E. Schwab but still a really solid story and it's perfect for this time of year so if you want to pick it up on October it would be the ideal time to read it so that is one book finished I have read a bit more of Catherine House I'm now on page 141 so I'm like halfway through I've just gotten up to the second year at Catherine House but I am loving this so much more as I thought I would. There's so much that I missed the first time rereading it. I was so confused the first time that I was reading it that everything else sort of went over my head but I am really loving picking up on the little bits of the relationships between Baby and Inez is my favorite thing. It's very different from any other friendship that I've read but it's very quiet and they don't talk to each other too much about emotional stuff but they're there for each other and it's just a very quiet beautiful friendship which I love and yeah I really like Inez as a character she's very different very reserved and almost very cold at times but she has a lot of these moments of love and friendship and joy amongst all the crazy weirdness that is this book that doesn't really make sense but there are moments that I'm really really loving so I am very excited to finish this I have about 160 pages to go just this much so I'm hoping I can read a decent chunk of that today I have nothing planned for the rest of the day so I'm going to try and read the rest of this if not finish it at least get pretty close to the end but yeah here is a update on my tabs a lot of tabs as you can see but it's looking very beautiful and I'm excited to see them when I finish the book and I also started another book after I finished Gallant I wanted something to read on audiobook and I picked up a book that is very different for me and that is The Savage King by Michelle M. Pillow I don't know what mood I was in honestly just like a fun mood it's not really the type of book that I would read it's an adult paranormal romance it's actually a book off my mum's bookshelf that she read years and years ago but I had the audiobook on script so I decided just to pick it up see what it's like it's very short it's like 200 pages and I am on page 60 at the moment but it's weird it's like a sci-fi almost
almost. They're on this planet with these princes that can shapeshift into tigers and then back to men and we're following our main character Alyssa who is there on the planet for her job. She's doing some kind of research thing but the ship that's coming to pick her up is three months delayed so she has to stay on this planet with these princes for three months and she ends up meeting the prince in this book who is soon to be king because his father's died and that's all I'm really up to. I haven't read too much but it's a wacky book. I don't really know if they're like aliens or what but I mean it's giving me what I wanted. It's fun. It's just not really using much of my brain which is what I wanted. Just a quick fun read that doesn't make me think too much. So yeah I am gonna continue reading it. I mean it's not terrible so far. It's not the best thing I've ever read. There are definitely some cringy lines. It is published in the early 2000s so I can imagine there will be toxic masculinity and all the stereotypes around this kind of book back in the 2000s. It is a dated book compared to the romance that is out now. So I'm not expecting incredible things but it is just a fun time and I will continue reading it. So those are my updates for now. Like I said I'm going to spend the rest of the day reading. I have no plans today or tomorrow other than like general chores. So I'm hoping that I can finish Catherine House and The Savage King and possibly start something new but we'll see how I go. I don't want to set my expectations too high on how much I can read because I'm not the fastest reader. But yeah I'm really enjoying what I'm reading so far. I'm going to carry on reading Catherine House and I will update you guys when I've finished. So I know I said I would update when I finished Catherine House but I haven't yet but I have finished The Savage King by Michelle Emmett Pillow and this was not it. This was not good. There was some scenes that I did like which is why I was debating between a two star or a one star but there was just so many things that this man did that was just not acceptable. So one star. He was just very controlling, possessive. And they look down on women so much. They're only sex objects and that is it. They can't be anything more. Oh, let me find it. Like there's literally a line where it says it's logic. A man ruled by a woman is ruled by weakness. And then she's like, so women are weak. And he goes on about how a man who dares to love a woman will have weakness in that love. He'll consider her opinion over his... And he goes on about how it'd be bad for everyone because, you know, he wouldn't be strong. And yeah, it's just bad. I didn't hate my time reading it, but there was just lines like that and scenes. Like there was one scene where he locked her in his room for two weeks. She wasn't allowed out because she didn't behave or do what he wanted her to do. And it's just, that's not what we want. So one start for this. Let's not talk about that anymore. But as for Catherine House, I'm on page 189. So I literally don't even have much to go, like 120 pages. I just don't have the attention to sit down and read like a hundred pages at a time. I still am reading it but I read like 30 pages and then put it down and then read another 30 pages so I am making slow progress but I just cannot read a hundred pages at a time anymore. I don't know what it is but I am going to read more tonight. After this clip I'm gonna go take my makeup off, get ready for bed, and then I'm gonna read this until I pretty much fall asleep. So hopefully I can read a decent chunk of this. But yeah, I am still really loving it. Not too much has happened. The characters are starting to get a little bit suspicious of the school and what they're actually doing. Rethinking things that like the teachers are doing and it's a bit sus. So not too much has happened. Just a lot of 
character interactions and a lot of dialogue. I'm hoping to finish this in the next couple of days. I've edited this vlog up to the point where I'm filming so it should be up soon. I've just, I just need to finish this book and then we are good to go. Those are my reading updates for now. I am only currently reading this actually so once I finish that it'll be nice to have nothing that I'm currently reading so I'll be able to pick fresh, start some new books. I don't have anything on audiobook so I'm definitely going to pick up another audiobook and then maybe something off my October TBR to physically read. I'm gonna go take my makeup off, do my skincare and then get into bed, read some more of this and hopefully, hopefully this time I will finish it or be close to finishing it. <laughs> finally finished Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. I woke up semi-early about eight o'clock and I've just spent most of the morning having a very relaxing morning reading the rest of this book. I love this so much. It's a really hard book to talk about. I really liked it a lot. I actually ended up giving it five stars in the end. For most of the book I was thinking four stars but then from like page 200 onwards it really really gets wild. I loved the last like 100 pages. It was just so good. But yeah, it's a hard book to talk about but my favourite thing is the female friendships in this book. They're just so wholesome and so sweet and they're just having fun, having adventures but then they really look out for one another and it's just really really good. I also love the writing in this, the way the writing derails as our character kind of becomes obsessed with this house and she starts to become very bizarre and the writing just reflects that so well. Very unique book but yeah it's not a book for everyone especially the ending it is left very open. It doesn't tell you what happens it's just left up to your interpretation to kind of make your own conclusion which I know not everyone would like but yeah I just I'm obsessed with this book and the characters and the relationships and the weirdness that is never really explained. They kind of try to explain it but it still doesn't make any sense and there's just weird things that the school is doing and there was one really big plot twist that I had totally forgotten that just left me so shook but yeah I'm so glad that I reread this like giving it a five stars this time I just knew in my gut that I would love it a lot more and I did so much here are my tabs I annotated it so much it looks beautiful but yeah finally finished this five out of five stars not a book for everyone you have to go into it with an open mind but if you like weird kind of plotless but more of like a character study and weird things going on then I think it would be your vibe but it's definitely not for everyone because it makes no sense but I absolutely love it so much. So let's recap the books that I read during this vlog. Firstly I read Gallant by, I'm holding it upside down, Gallant by V.E. Schwab and I gave this a four stars. Just a fun time, spooky vibes, really enjoyed this one and The Savage King which you know I did not like one star for that one and then five stars for Catherine House. So not too bad for my first reading vlog of October. I am going to be doing one the following week, ticking off the books on my TBR to hold me accountable. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.